So just before we get into this next video, uh, myself and Alice are going to do a Q&A. So anything to do with fitness, bodybuilding, um, our relationships during contest preps, we've done a couple of, I've done a couple of seasons now with Alice by my side and as a couple we've been together 10 years. So anything you can think of, just drop them below. Just we will be answering them in next week's, the, the not next video, the one after. So thanks in advance guys and I hope you enjoy this video. It is Wednesday morning now, uh, smack bang on 9 a.m. Just got little little Louie here. We're just gonna go up to the dog park. Um, but it's Wednesday, this video will probably come out, I'd say Saturday, realistically, so um, midweek, but I'll just let you guys know what I'm what I've what I've been doing for the past few days. Um, so a, a lot a lot of work this week to be honest. Um, I've been so you guys know I'm a personal trainer um, and I do the online coaching as well. Um, in the past, so I've been at this this gym I'm at now for coming up to a year pretty much. It's a year since the Muscle Mayhem last year. So that means I've been at this job about 11 months. Um, before that, I was managing another gym. Um, I've PT'd out of another gym and I've also managed and done sales at other gyms. So I've always been in the fitness industry, but um, I'm really happy with, with how this past year's progressed and I might even make a video on what I've done to ensure that I'm making enough money to pay the bills and, and that sort of stuff as well and, and just give some tips to other personal trainers out there because there's thousands of them anyway. So um, yeah, so Monday was a was a PB and, and guys, I'm never, never bragging, never, um, I don't wanna, this channel's not just to say how good I am and this is what I'm doing, it's just to, just to get some content out there and, and hopefully you guys can, can learn and learn a bit more about me as well. So uh, Monday was really good. I was happy I did smashed out 10 one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions back to back with I think there was a couple of 45 minute breaks in there just to split it up and have some food But I was really happy with that. I've never done that many in a row and I was pretty beat up. So we rested on Monday uh, And then we did legs yesterday and today is a back to cycle three of this block And we're gonna do an upper body session. So full upper I will be training at Animal Kingdom, the gym, with all the coloured equipment and all the platforms. So I'll get you guys some footage of that. Um, but other than that, just just uh, I think tomorrow is a, a decent, decently busy day, and Fridays it kind of tapers off, which is which is quite nice. So a bit of a bit of a, uh, a, a jump start on the weekend, so to speak. Oh, what are those? So just pick these up. Uh, they're the I think they're 2016. Fly knits, uh, they're the new ones with like the split tongue and they've got a bit of a cup at the rear for the heel. Um, I've kind of always, I guess, always seen them, other people wear them and to be honest, when I when I first saw them, whoa, zooming in, when I first saw them, I wasn't over the moon about uh, the knitted, the whole knitted thing, but the minute I tried them on, um, they kind of, yeah, I knew I, I got to have them just for work because they're so comfortable. So, got these, um, they're at 180, so, not too bad, I got a bit of a discount as well for being a personal trainer, which is always nice. Um, so I got these on now, so these are gonna be my daily shoes. Um, obviously I won't train legs in them, but for upper body and work, it's perfect. I wanted to speak a little bit more about um, the optimal time to have an off season. I, I know you see people put up photos and everyone's like, oh, everyone's making gains, you, you're looking good, um, that sort of stuff. But my honest thoughts are, as a natural athlete, I feel you need minimum two years between shows, and that's, say you compete in July, July say 2016, you wouldn't compete again until 2018 July, only because I feel that the minute you get off stage, you've got realistically three to four months before, even if you get back heavy on the on the food, um, and your your hormones and all your all your energy levels feel good, your, your body feels good. I still realistically think it's it's three to four months before you're back into some heavy weight training where you were before you started prep. Um, and then I think those next two months, you're gonna be building momentum. So then say say six months is gone, and then add a year to that of, of actual being in a surplus. So you've got a year, and then you need six months to prep again realistically to be or you don't, you don't need six months to be bone shredded, but you want to allow yourself a lot of time. So when you break it down like that, two years isn't a whole lot. Um, so I know for myself, I competed last July, and I'm going to do um, 
July 2018. So I'm gonna have three years between shows and it's been exactly a year since my last one, The Muscle Mayhem, uh, a year on Saturday or Sunday, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna do three years and as of 1st of September this year, I'm gonna do a 12 week mini cut and I'll document the, the, the process of that. Um, and it's gonna be 10 pounds, so about, about four kilos. Um, and it might even be under that. It, it, realistically, I'd be happy if it was eight to 10 weeks, um, but I'm gonna allow myself the, the, the 12 weeks just, just in case and just to have a little bit more flexibility and not be so pushed for time. Uh, so again, it won't be a contest prep diet. It'll just be honestly a tighten up, firstly, to see where I'm at. Secondly, to get my appetite back because I've got no appetite. So I wanna kind of feel what it's like to be, to be hungry and uh, appreciate eating more food, not appreciate food, so I pre always appreciate food, but um, just to, just to I guess, build the appetite back up. And then, just for a bit of motivation as well, just to see, see dip, dip down into some leaner leaner body numbers. It's always good to see a vein here and there or some some separation, so I'm gonna do that in September, document that, so that'll be, that'll be nice. And I'm actually trying to get in a few people to do that one with me, so watch this space, because we might document their journeys as well. So. I'm gonna hit the dog park and stop labouring and we'll see you guys soon at the gym. Whew. So we just finished up that workout. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Really loving this gym. Uh, so back at this Animal Kingdom gym where I used to train and I, love, I really like filming in there just because the lighting, it's got, it's got really high ceilings, so there's no, there's none of this really fake, fake lighting. It's all natural lighting. There's half, half the gym's kind of open, so you get it, sorry, you get it um, coming through the windows there. Um, it's just nice, nice environment, especially middle of the day. It's now, it's now 1.45, um, so middle of the day, you're just quiet and got a good session in, so all in all, pretty good. My... Left pec was where I've had some issues in the past was a bit tight, so I played it safe. And what I did was instead of doing five sets of chest press, I just did three, and it was it was to be honest, it was it was really really pumped. Um, so that's kind of what happens with the, the little niggle I get in there; it just pumps really quick, um, which is a good thing if you want to get a pump. But to be honest, I just wanted to lift some, move some decent weight on that. So what I did was didn't get didn't get disappointed, moved on, and I, I, I got that added in that extra volume with the push-ups, which didn't hurt, and I added in an extra set of, of shoulder press. So I guess take take a few uh, take a few negatives and turn them into positives. That's all you can do, and just, just treat it one set at a time. So all in all, if I have a little overview in my head of that workout, it was it was perfect. So um, you're always gonna get these little little obstacles you gotta overcome. So I'm starving, gonna get some food. I'll show you guys what I have. Let's get home. Hey, God. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You good? So guys, a post-workout meal here. Um, quick and easy one, two scoops of salted caramel uh, whey protein, um, just 100% whey, pretty low carb, low fat. I've got a caramel theme going on here, so I've got a caramel and pretzel cookie, already had a bite, and then we're going to have one jazz apple. So macros, you're looking at probably 50 protein, I'd say 20, probably 40 carb, and then maybe 12 or 13 grams of fat. So. Pretty good little post-workout meal, let's say about 500 calories. 